Hello everyone! Happy Wednesday! This is me Nancy and welcome back to a Glitz brand new light tutorial. Hope you all have a fabulous Wednesday and I'm so excited to be back today with another tutorial. So yesterday we did is the um, gel extensions uh, with the tips and you can definitely create it those well that's two set already sent off to my friends already so if you are really interested in to want to see how you can create it yourself uh really a set i want to do my set really soon and you can definitely check it out from our igtv i save all the videos on youtube facebook instagram tiktok Twitch absolutely free for you. So thanks so much for the love and support. I can't wait to go into the tutorial today. So we are going to playing with the fusionings. We're going to use bog dolls and uh, neon fusioning thinking green, which is I uh, using one is the classic and one neon. And then the next one I am going to do is again one classic and one neon, but this one we reverse it. We're gonna go into using a neon burning heart, and then we are going to using a thinking green. I thought that this one is the burning heart, no? Uh, but don't give you a deeper red. Okay, let me see. So um, let's get started. And only you need even one color or two colors. And important, we are going to using a fusioning crystal clear. That's all you need for your crystal plates, uh, for your fusioning uh, to create a marbling. So I did two coat of number 25, a glitch gel polish, pure white, and each layer. I care for a 60 second, and I did apply the matte top coat and care for 60 second. So now you need it just simply, I need to get some paper. And let's get started. We are going to need just a piece of uh, paper towel here so then I can just wipe up my bristle during the time I create the marbles. So then that way it will not contaminate and it's going back to the bottle. So we are going to start with the uh, these two colors is Burning Heart and Thinking Green. And let's do the uh, Burning Heart first. I have Mika right closer to me here. She's working me, working as well. But Mika is also one of Gliss brand ambassador and she's such a great um, artist with the fusioning. The glitter hutch. Did I say it right? Hello, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you everyone. Oh my goodness, I have I missed so many comments though. Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Just give a little shakes for the uh fusioning. You are very welcome, Mika. I hope I don't miss a lot of uh comment. So with the uh neon it's so pigmented, so you don't need a whole lot. And also, you can add more as you prefer if you want to be darker, deeper look. So I absolutely love this. It's burning hard. It's so nice and vibrant. We can do like a trendies, holidays, nails. And then we're going right in with the thinking green. And I'm going to just like dab it right on the side. So it's recommends by Hue with these two colors. We want to see because I'm so interested in with this. Hope everyone's uh, having a fabulous day. All right. That is set, and I'm going ahead and using Crystal Clear. Just need a little bit, you don't need a whole lot. And I'm going to go ahead and tap it right in outside wipe off you see that i have a piece of 
paper towel over here so i wipe off all of the residues off from my bristle and you when you work with the fusioning is there's no right way or wrong ways for you it just really depends on how you like your marble look okay and repeat it with another like step that you are going to pick up some of crystal clear looks really cool and interesting to me what you think you know what i was thinking it though say so add some illumining like light arts so there's no right way or no wrong way to do this it's so fun to do and then just make sure the important just load your bristles just a little bit of crystal clear you don't need a whole gallons of it just little little go a long way so now if you want your veining to be really precise like this and it's obvious these are veinings you can just like tap it right from the outside toward to the center i like that i like a little bit of a hint of a green i like a little bit of like um kind of a, a neon uh burning hearts and it's also like a little pink because it's a blending from the uh, green you see a little bit green right here right there looks so cool it looks so good by itself though i don't know if i want to put crystal on it but i am going to <laughs> so um for one second oh this is green though Are we done with that so you want to add it on so we're gonna add it on so if you are done you're happy with this you don't want anything else on it's gonna be like one of your nail arts like the ring fingers or whatever fingers that the client's going to do i'm gonna just add just a little bit of illuminating uh light arts which is gel painting if you have a golden touch is is also really gorgeous this one is also fun as well and then we just like give it a little bit just wiggle a little bit you don't have to get it like a straight line it just make it look natural i'm gonna load it some more okay you can add more or less is however you would like and then we're going to cure for 60 seconds hey dom thanks so much for tuning in oh it's turned out so pretty <laughs> i'm so glad it's turned out pretty because uh he was like seem like i got enough challenge and he's give me a challenge right here before we go live it's okay yes that's the like two colors you're gonna do it's gonna be cool i said okay <laughs> all right so i have an idea it's a two centerpiece but i will show you what centerpiece when i get right in my centerpiece where do you put it put it my centerpiece I'm gonna use these two colors and this centerpiece is super adorable it's so cool um I know I will tell you why because if you remember that you see we're doing it with the um centerpiece with no metal frame and then we have to put the frame and then we have to dress it up a frame and the beads on it to create that 
But now, guess what? It's now is available in already in the centerpiece in the frame. So, which is mean you can have so much is like dramatics is cute crystal, but you don't have to spend like maybe extra of 10 15 minutes to put the beats on. So, we are going to did you put it somewhere? Oh, I really want to do this for everyone. Should we do this one then? Hmm? The design. You could. This one know. is so cute though. It looks nice on it. Anyone want to see this designs on? Yes or no? Nice one. Maybe one nail design like this and one centerpiece. How does that the centerpiece go vanish? Did you put it somewhere? Should we do it? Yeah, go for it. All right. Well, if I do this, and I am going to to get my um, did you move somewhere? Right in front of you. Look, second draw. Look down. Funny. When you're hiding from me. It's not. So let me see the nails. I can see the look. Oh, so this gorgeous. Okay. So this nails, we're gonna need that one and the red. Okay, let's do this. <gasps> Pop a lot of uh, on it. I don't know if I wanna I don't know if I wanna do any crystal placement on this. Just one big stone in the middle. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's so gorgeous. Can you pull that one back for me? No, just put it that one back. Because, look at this. Hold on, let's turn off the lights and then see how this one. All right, here, on. Good God, that thing. <laughs> the lamb. Look at that. That is so cool. Yeah. Oh my god, look at my nails. Okay, anyway, we want to do some nails though. Seriously, do we really need to do like that's why I don't have any background so you can see that crystal is so crystal. Well, crystal you, or not crystal? You know what? Put that away. You yeah, can vote on it and we can come back to it in about a couple of minutes. <laughs> now she can start the next one. <laughs> so, both of you will never start. It's, Okay, we'll, we'll put it on the side. We're going to do a next one. Too pretty to be crystal. So I have to wait for all of us to see what should we do. You tell me if it's no crystal, then we can do no crystal. This one will stay. Burning hot. Burning hot. Thinking green. Yeah, and green. Green again. And we want to do a thinking green. It's going to be very shiny. Green and blue. Oh. That's a good idea, though. Yep, and then we move. <laughs> we will do crystal later. Okay. <laughs> crystal. I'm gonna use just a little bit because the pigment is so pigmented. So I'm gonna use that, and I'm gonna use a crystal clear. And I did the next one is a uh, Bogdol, so regular is fusioning. I'm gonna do it's just getting a little bit of the outside. And it's outside. Yeah. Do you have a hutch? Say it looks like a watermelon. 
It is. Looks cool, huh? Well, it looks... Whatever is it, he's giving me a challenge. I'll take it. And I'm not just working on and blending it out all the pigment. And you can see that I work it from the outside toward to the center. This one I can do crystal because I like it and like lighter. So I can put the, it like have a little bit of backgrounds underneath. It looks like it's a water color. Because okay. sometimes I was like doing a crystal placement, I just don't want to do so beautiful in the um, background because then you cover this. I like to cover them. Mm -hmm. Just that's it. And then let's put some liner on. I'm going to put some green on it. I'm going to put some green because... Want to try quick? See how shiny it is? I'm going to add just a little bit more. Well, you know what is gonna look good with this one? I'm thinking of weaver gel. <gasps> Let's do some weaver gel. Okay, I want to do Weaver Dale's this one. I want the gold one on. Give it the stir. Good. No, it's okay. I want to go on. All right. So if you are wondering how I make this one, I just using like all this the toothpick, and I tape it together. It's really easy. You can tape six. I mean, two more than one. So two, three, four, five, six, and you tape it together. You can create the tools that you can do the weaver gel ends like one stroke but it has five six seven line at the same time make sure that i get the good amount So when you see the size is not, um, the line is not going together. Well, it's going to wipe off the tips and pick it up. That's so beautiful. That is cool though. I like it. Now I don't know if I want to do crystal or not. Well, so people decide to do crystal on the first one. See what you want to do on that. Or you wait for this. For real? That's so pretty. Can I just get away with no crystal? All right, then do crystal. 
They said, no, Nancy, if we do Crystal, then it's like the game is over. Well, I guess restrain yourself. I'm looking at this. I'm going to do two, either one. Which one do you want to see? This one? This one or this one? Thumbs on my ring finger. Which one do you want to see? I'll just move thumb. You want to keep the background. Well, I'll just... <laughs> okay. I can do either one. Mm -hmm. I can do the same one with mine, but reverse the, the crystal. How about that? Mm -hmm. I can yeah, do the heart instead of the heart red. I can do the the um the green. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. So here is condensed blue gel, the first step from a crystal trifecta. So if you are having a really hard time with your crystal placements, and the ours is keeping like coming off and strike on you, so this is going to be your bestie, and it's wool back you up every single time i am going to apply this one good coat not too thick not too thin over the top and floating so now if you are i'm not sure if you are doing a matte top coat you can do a matte finish and apply the matte on if you already decide to do the the uh, shiny you can apply the shiny top coat on so we are going ahead and using the no wipe top coat on the top, why wow, it looks so dark. I'm missing one light. Floating right on the top, not too much because you don't want your crystal to be sliding off. So we're gonna do instead of ours regulars with the heart, we're gonna do it like upside down like the heart like there. like that the same but I just reverse the colors and here's the color kits can I get my color kits back this is so cute it's perfect for holiday I'm using the all the bling in the worst crystal kits and Adding the SS tens of the crimsons. And then the green opal from the kit. Place them really close and tight together. I'm gonna go ahead and using SS4 on this side. And now if you like the beads, you can add the beads on. If you don't want any beads on, absolutely you can get away with no beads. It still looks so gorgeous. And I just add the little arrow for the end and add some beads between the crystals. It's so fun and so easy to do and as long as you are place them really close and tight together, they are How everyone doing so far?
me doing great i'm excited i'm so enjoying it doing it tutorial for all of you okay so now it looks like mine yep mm -hmm. that look pretty see look better than your nails better mm. well, i'm so glad because i'm taking my off now <laughs> It's gonna break me hard because I'm taking your favorites off. Yeah. You know what? When I before I take my nails off, I kiss it like so many times. I say I love you so much, but I gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. You know, I gotta go. <laughs> it's just hard though. If you're asking a lot of people will asking like oh, it's gonna be like so hard to see the nails off like yep. We're gonna have to say bye to beautiful so then create more beautiful. And I hope you're enjoying it with all the it's just like cool a challenge for myself, but also it's really nice to share with you. So then it gives you some inspiration. So now you can go on and on about this. Um if you add more crystal, you can you add more frame. I'm gonna stop right here because at least that you can see some of the fusioning, so you won't complain with me that um I cover everything but hey if you would like to cover everything you do so do not worry about what other people say you know like it you have it on your nails that's your nails you're enjoying it not us you enjoying it and also it's the same with your client too so good it looks so gorgeous in person though I feel so good now because I have like have a similar nail designs I can keep because this one need to go. We'll do a new one. All right, here for 60 seconds and we'll go back with the precision glue gels to double secure all of the crystal charm and chains in there. So now let's moving on this one. Uh, crystal or no crystal? I think it looks good. We should put we should put some butterflies on it. Mm -hmm. sure I'm real quick how it looks under. Oh, under. Under the uh, mm -hmm. last time, you know. Got it. Close this one for a second. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ready? Oh, la. Look at that. It's a neon. I think the light's too powerful. You might want to do this one. Like that. There you go. Much better. No, because the screen, a lot of screen. Let me see. Less powerful. Okay. Oh, it's short. Dilate up. All right. So what we're doing? Dragon scale and crystal, or just crystal? Dragon scale and crystal. Ah, voting. <laughs> She's like, okay, I know what I want. Okay, dragon scale and crystal. I got an idea. So you ready? I'm so excited. Um. Do we do the first one? Did we have a heart on the first one? Okay, dragon scale and crystal. So we're gonna first thing first start with the uh condensed glue gels and we're all going to follow right after with the uh no web top coat. So I'm go ahead and apply this a good amount, not too thick, not too thin. Too thick is going to flood your crystal, too thin is not going to adhere your crystal properly. Sorry, my my bracelet is keep making a noise right there. If I need some more, I'm going to add some more. I'm so obsessed with the green. Okay, flaw follow right after with the just keep um, making some noise. No wipe top coat. Floating right on the top. So now there are so many different ways to apply the dragon scales. If you want to do completely dragon scale, like completely the nails with no crystal, make sure you're doing a spy in the middle first. There's so many different ways um, you can do it on the side, but then sometimes the sides make your nails look crooked. So I, I always start with this on the on the center first, the spine first, and then I going on the left and the right, depending on however designs you would like to. So I am go ahead and apply this. 
I just have really good eyes on this. Oh, this one popped nicely. Nice, huh? Like it? And then I'm going to start with this Dragon Scale. I am absolutely love it. Place it right in the top of the shield, diamond shields in emerald. And then you see that I'll start with the spine first and I'm going to go into the right and go into the left. And then you might see in your dragon scales, on one side is like um, halo and the other one is more like... Um, a texture raise up so you're gonna do that and have it on the top so I'm gonna go ahead if you feel like it's upside down give it a little shakes on the on the uh, tray it's gonna go and flip really nicely for you Same thing with the other ones. We're going to continue to doing it another. I'm so excited to be here with everyone. If you miss it, don't worry. You can watch my replace. Um, and then so with the replace, you can fast forward as you needed it. I'm like oh my god i forgot something and let's go back to the video and you can watch and fast forward it if you are needed it and then now i'm gonna do it again and then you see that it's supposed to be i'm gonna show you really closer let me finish this one and do it again so they are supposed to be i'm gonna show you how you can look at them and make it so easy it's so fast i promise this dragon scale application it is the fastest and easiest and the simplest on earth and it should not be, is make it frustrated. It's just so much fun to do. So when you lay them like, when you are, place them like this. So it's supposed to be the straight one, two. And then this one right here on the angle, you look one, two, three. It looks like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. A puzzle. Yeah, a puzzle. So I'm going to go ahead. If you, you can continue to doing it. Whoop, hold it if you want to. I'm going to add some cuties crystal here, right there, some of my opal, I love the filler though, I love the SS, I'm not using the SS, um, six, six, you can do three. Sometimes I do three. Sometimes I do six. It's the, if you want to be like getting a bigger size of the crystal, you can do number six. And then end away. I'm going to add some frame on it, okay? All right. My metal frame. Am I on uh, the mm -hmm. camera? You got to go. Thanks so much, everyone. I don't see any comments at all. Mm. Can you read the comment for me? Oh, they're just talking how much they love dragon scale. Oh, thank you so much. I love it too. It's so easy to do. And it's so fun, fast fun. If you're doing for your clients, it's so much fun to do. Clients love it. They last good up to like four to six weeks. Have the clients will last up that long and you don't even have to coat the dragon scale you treat it like your crystals and you don't need to coat it on the top unless you are going to do it encapsulating it like with liquid and powder or velvety gels but if you are doing it treat it as a crystal placement you do not have to to coat it at all just keep it's my beads on my bracelet. It's heating the, the tree. And then we can add some 
it's on and continue if you want to oh nice you know what just keep in mind you can definitely get away with no beats at all i like it either way so you never go wrong with this design And I'm adding in between the frame and the crystals. All right, I can go on and on and on about this. I'm not going to stop, but we're gonna leave some room for the fusioning and weaver gels, or else we'll like take over. So you can definitely doing a really cool, beautiful nails in the same theme of the holidays. And you can swap the different colors of Dragon Scale and then color of the fillers will give it a different looks for upcoming holidays. For instance, you can do similar like this and then changing your crystal to be pink or red. And then can be pink and red to be is upcoming Valentine or New Year's. If you're doing a silver, a white, white and silver. Oh, white and blue for the New Year's, like a winter. Bye, Mika. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. Then probably I have no idea. Okay, so. Let's go, so. Yeah, I don't know. How Did you get a new notification from us at all? I think some do, but yeah. Did you have a notification, Nika? It looks like uh, on our feed it doesn't show as uh, notifications for uh, when we go live. Yeah, you got them? I got them from each page. Everything. For real? Mm -hmm. So I didn't see it. Maybe I didn't refresh it. Or maybe it's for maybe network. So I'm gonna go in. I'll go ahead and doing it. Thank you, Mika. Are you go shopping again? Yes, it's the best thing. Shop. So I'm going to go ahead and do the sealing all of the beads in the frame. And make sure you are going to do a little checking, checking. Do a little exam right here. I love the best thing about this. And no nails not looks only looks so gorgeous. Also, it's secure. A lot of you was really afraid of. I used to afraid of the clients. Like, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. It looks really nice on the picture, but they start going home and they're washing their hand, their hair. I mean, um, like you're going shower and you had a little um, shower puff. What is that? The shower puff, whatever you're using it. I have one and mine's purple and it will stuck in the nail. If you don't have precision glue gels and it's going to start stucking on the nails and it will rip your crystal off. If the first time it didn't do it successful the second time it's probably gonna rip it like really bad so the clients were like oh i love it it looks so gorgeous it looks nice on the pictures but it keep catching on my clothes i just got a new very new scarf and it's pulling everything off of my scarf i'm not happy at all this will make your clients smile and it'll make you feel so good and confidence that you know they can wear with the confidence so i'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds It's no more, no more pains, no more like worry about like getting, you can promoting, you can share with your clients if you are doing for yourself, for all your wires, uh, congratulations. This is going to be your bestie with every single uh, crystal placement you are doing. And for a lot of you are create a lot of um, press on set for your size, your business, and also is a part of your business as well. This will be the bomb because you do not have to worry about um, them are catching up on the clients when they're putting the press on nails on. So I am a go ahead and using my twin tip brush. And the twin tip brush had dual ends. So one ends with the light brush. I am going to show you some cool tip and trick. I'm go ahead and using a light brush and blend this beauty, which is a precision glue gel that I just did. It had no uh, tacky layer. So then it, after your kiss, there's no worry about it's gonna getting like really tacky layer at all. So I'm gonna give it a little bit quick blend. So then that way after you kiss, it doesn't look lumpy on the side. It looks nice and flawless as possible. 
and then we are gonna cure for 60 seconds and also if you are needing more than just one um, time of your curing you can I mean one time of sealing you can go ahead and seal but do not seal on the top of the crystal you can see how cool the crystal is sparkle and the cut is if we put it all over your crystal gonna be like becomes a glove crystal or it wasn't gloves crystal gloves crystal have a special design with this one that you're coating it on so I'm go ahead and close the red cap don't lose it because it's going to protect your investment and it will last for a long time it's one time long 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 time ago so my friends will like lay this here and it spills everywhere the, because the cap is not locked in I guess you can show it's my nails else really quick last so you have the last look on her 16 nail set she called this one mistletoe the 16 set of her 30 days challenge so we're halfway there already that's your last look before she take them off and do a new one well pass I have to what you want to see the next one I'm going to take it off and I'll put the matte top coat on. It's the 17 look. All right. The matte top coat. Mm -hmm. So let's give them Which one is your favorite? My favorite. I don't know. My favorite is this one. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's do category. Like favorites for the crystal or then this one. I don't know. It's hard to pick. I have a hard time to pick which one. <laughs> well, uh, let's show them the nail from today. And look very pretty. It's so pretty. And uh, let's do this because we Turn do have the uh, Oh my goodness. Turn off that because the lighting on, the lighting is on. Mm -hmm. You know what happened? If you're adding your crystal glow in the dark, it will, it will be down. so the bomb. Oh, maybe today we should do a glow in the dark crystal. <gasps> mm -hmm. I should do glow in the dark crystal set today for myself. You should? Yes. On this one. But I love this one so much. Bye. Are you Bye. ready to say goodbye? I know. I'm gonna give a lot of kisses on this before I'm gonna say goodbye. Yeah. The sky blue is your favorite. Oh my god, Jan, you like the sky blue? Hold on. So sky blue is oh the one is just recently. Yeah, have pictures of it. <laughs> no, uh, oh my god, I have a hard time to pick which one. Maybe we should do some a cool of a giveaway for the naming the set. <gasps> That's be cool. Here's a look. I'm going to have to say bye to this one. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. I really, really enjoying the tutorials. And thank you so much for joining me, sticking with me. Um, can you move this one? I know it's close that I can get. But we're missing this nail, though. <laughs> looks so much better. Q vessel. Did I say it right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And I have a Jen, I have a hard time to pick which one is my favorite. Every time I say, Oh, I like this set a lot. And then our next set we had, I had it and I said, Oh my god, I also like it a lot. Um if you have any questions, like on any other question, anything, anything. Um just even any question is nothing, no question is a silly question. Just ask me, like say uh, anything. I don't know. I was thinking, uh, well, we'll try to tag the colors or the products that we're using. But it's like, how long did it take you to thinking of this idea? Because yesterday I have an idea of like completely, it's one idea of the one colors and I totally doing a difference. That, you know, it's just like, it's really cool. It's a great experience. So here is a look. So if you have any questions, uh, yes, every new set is better than the last. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Jen. It's mean the world to me. And thanks so much for like tuning in, for supporting, and comments, likes, love, a lot of support. Um, I really, really enjoying it. Be honest. And such a great, it's, 
it's really fun and easy challenge, but also it's a, take a lot of like um, how do I say a lot of uh, cool ideas. Dedication is more important thing that I see is out from the past halfway. It is a challenge for myself. Is I learned so much, and thanks so much for sharing all of the um, you know is the. Uh, comments with me and likes with me hope it's bring you some inspiration i know i like this one a lot see why am i thinking of a dragon scale with this i would done it but this is so cute i got it from the newest one right there looks so good in person it's so gorgeous in person and it has variety of different shapes so you have limitless of what you are going to create this one looks like a Sailor Moon. <laughs> I like Sailor Moon. All right. I don't want to leave everyone. I don't want to say bye, but I am going to say bye to you. And I really appreciate you tuning in. Have a fabulous Wednesday. And if you have any questions regarding to the products I'm used from Glitter Sister and such, please feel free to... DM us. Our team will be so happy to assist you. And please, um, if you have any further question for shipping or order, please feel free to email us at info at glitzersessionsearch.com. And you can also chat with us right on the website as well as your preference. Uh, if you have any question right then. So I'm looking forward to see everyone in the next live video. Thank you so much, everyone. And have a fabulous Wednesday. Please take good care of yourself. Be safe and happy holidays. We'll see you in the next live. Bye.